I figured if I stood still enough, you guys wouldn't even notice I was here. I am doing this Reddit tip from Easter Island today. Here we are in the tropics, and we're just looking out into the ocean trying to figure out when the sh our ship is going to sail. <laughs> Never know. Okay, so today's Reddit tip is about custom stairs. People are like scared of stairs, and there's a lot to say about stairs, I know. Railings are the worst part of Revit. If you've ever worked with railings, they tend to not work as well as you wish in Revit. So whatever, what I'm gonna do is show you, we're not going into railings. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna talk about stairs and we're going custom, dude. We're going, we're going custom. All right, I'm going to share my screen now and then we'll go from there. All right. Where are we? Oh, here we is. Zing. All right. Let's get to this building. Here's our little 3D building that we're dealing with. Inside this two-story building is a stair. Okay, I'm going to go to the first floor plan. All right, so here we are. And since I want to show you custom, we're going to scrap the stair that's already here, and we're going to totally, we're going to go custom, complete custom. So I'm gonna highlight the stair and hit delete. Bam, let's get rid of these chairs also. So we don't have any, hey, I said go. Delete, there we go. Okay, we have got a, this is our area to work with. We're trying to get upstairs from the first floor. Now, in the stair tool, I'm gonna go click on it. We're on the architecture tab, and right here in the center is stair. And you click on that, and there's lots of different tools for you, okay? Up here in the center, We've got um, straight stair, too easy. We have got a full, a spiral stair. We've got a curved stair. And then we've got like a winder, an L-shaped winder and a U-shaped winder. I actually have a winder in my house right now. And it has caused so many problems because the, there's, the radius right at that center is bad news. And it's like, if on one side of the stair, it's a normal step down, eight inches or so. And if you're on the other side of the step, you step down like two feet. Ah! I don't know how many times that's happened. I can't count that high. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you think I learned, right? Okay, we're going custom. There's also right here, so you don't have to pick one of the presets. There's a little pencil right there. And it's talking about going rogue we're talking about going custom so i'm going to click on that and when you click on that there's three things you need okay three things and the first thing are boundaries and that's the sides of your stair second thing is going to be risers that you actually step up to get up to the next floor and a stair path otherwise it doesn't know where the bottom is and where the top is you with me okay so here we go I'm gonna show you right now how this works. So I'm gonna click on boundary and I, you can pick these tools, any tool you want, but I'm just gonna pick this line tool and I'm gonna draw a line boundary. We're going over there and we're coming back over here and we're coming back down, okay? Let's just say there's our boundary. That's our outside edge, okay? We, you have to have two sides of the stair. And if I want to, let me just show you, we can do anything we want. I'm gonna go la la la, stairs coming over here, and it's going up, and it's going over. We can do anything, I don't care, but let's just do something like that. Okay, look at that. Okay, so if you see what I've got, I've got left and right here, and so we're. this is where the stairs gonna be, in between these two green lines. It goes up this direction, and around the corner, and I can I can pull this down here, make it a little bit more funnel-like. Zing! We come around the corner and we walk up here, turn this corner, and I can grab that and pull it down here so it's a little more like the other side. Whatever, and it opens up. This could be any shape you want. It doesn't matter. But the idea is the boundaries are the two sides. Okay. Once you draw your boundaries, they can do whatever. Just for temporarily, I'm going to pan over here and show you another couple boundary possibilities. Look, 
here is a boundary and here is another boundary right there look at that so look your stair would be in between these two lines in curving up to there so your boundary is boundless i mean you can do anything you want you can make this shape around objects in your prog in your program or your project so i'm getting rid of those we're gonna go back over here mm -hmm. okay so this is our fun little stair that we're working with now we switch to number two the second thing is risers you'll notice down here there's a note that says to me zero risers are created 16 remaining so basically I have to draw 16 lines that would be the risers so let's just do that I switch to this button riser okay and I'm just gonna draw lines I'm not gonna try to draw curves and whatnot because I don't even know if those are legal it, it, yeah I guess you could have a curve Cur yeah curves work but I don't feel like doing it right now okay I just don't feel like it so here we go we need 16 of these and so let's just let's cut it off at the pass the first one right there one okay at the beginning and let's do another one at the end two at the end okay so here we go if this were done you would step up walk around on a flat platform and then step up again but you wouldn't quite be all the way to the second floor because there's 14 still remaining so let's just make it easy on ourselves let's put them at logical places here's a place I'll put whoops got to make sure you put it on riser and we stick I'm gonna put one right there that seems like a decent spot and one over here okay now we're looking at 12 left now if you want to make this a winder this is like here you want to see the winder that's at my house look there's one from that corner goes up to um, right there okay and I think I've got another one right here and another one like right there and then one straight I'm serious this is how it is at my house but see how many we have we only have nine remaining that's a bad situation I don't recommend that for anybody if you feel like it you could go straight and straight if you want to make this corner an entire step I don't care Revit can handle it this is gonna I'm just gonna show you how this works we have eight remaining so let's put some this is a big fat step and so is this one it's kind of I'm gonna put one at about a third point there okay and another one at about a third point Okay, we got six to go. Maybe one over here. Five to go. Okay, we got four to go. And let's just put four up here. Uh, ding. Uh, ding. Uh, ding. That's the sound of stairs going in. Ding. Okay, it says zero. Now you can move these around. You can delete one. You can you can do what you want. Oh, I forgot. I, I meant to show you something really important. Look at this. See this line going all the way across? Doesn't need to. In fact, this one can be kind of pointing in the right direction, but not touching either side. Revit knows to extend these to the edges. So like this one doesn't have to be touching that side. And this one doesn't have to be touching that side. And this one doesn't have to be touching either side. Revit understands when it sees a riser line, it knows to extend it all the way to the edges. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up that you don't have to be super precise in drawing these kinds of things. Just chill out. Draw partial lines. Point in the right direction. Make sure it works. <clears throat> okay. So once you have it saying 16 risers created or however many you need to get to your second floor and zero remaining you're ready to go but not really the stair path needs to be drawn it's the third thing on here and so I'm gonna click on stair path okay and when you start the line that the stair it has to just go up the stair so this stair is going up to here okay and then it's gonna go over to the right and then it's going to go down whoops stair path down until it gets it there so it it needs to know where the path is and before i tell you it doesn't i think this line has to actually touch each of your little riser lines so this one barely got touched this one it hit in the middle it 
that, that line actually hits all these. I don't know if that's true or not. I just made that up, but I'm about to find out because I'm going to check this box done, the done button. Watch. And boom. Look at that. It's got the arrow going up to that. That is too sweet. So I'm going to um, click it just for a second. Work with me here. I want to see if I was right before. Edit sketch. Okay. What if this one didn't quite touch that blue line? I'm going to break it right there. Okay. So it doesn't quite touch. And when I say done, it fixed it. <laughs> okay, I was right. It doesn't even, those riser lines don't even have to cross the stair path. Isn't that nuts? Boom, blows your mind. You can draw these tiny little lines and it's going to work. All right, so I'm going to hit finish. And what it's going to do, it's going to put in some, you know, the handrails. Click and hit wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. I'm serious. It's coming. Wait for it. Well, there we go. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, look. We've got ding, 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 stairs all the way up. And we're loving this. This is amazing. Okay. So it's really tight right here. This is probably a bad, very bad idea, but so what? Let me just click on this thing. And let me click on these handrails, shift, oh yeah, control, and select. I just want to, I just want to, okay, gosh, let me just go to 3D. And <laughs> better yet, let me, I'm going to just grab that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my filter, make sure I didn't get a bunch of junk. I want the stair and I want uh, the railing. And I'm going to isolate these. Look at ready. In um, <laughs> gosh, I forget what I'm trying to do here. Let me just grab the whole thing, and I'm going to use my filter. And I'm just going to um, there we go. Check none. I am going to um, pick the stairs and the railings and say okay. And the stair and the railings are picked, and I'm going to isolate them. Um, those elements. Okay. Just so you can see what we built. All right, all right. It's hard to see. La la la. La la la. Dee, 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 dee. See, I wasn't kidding. This railing is having a. Now, the sta now, those winders, this is just an open residential stair. I'm just kind of moving it around too much. Open residential stair. Take a look right here. That winder is really tight, and the railing comes over and it goes vertical because it jumps up one, two, three, four, five, four risers coming around the corner. And so you'd probably have to put a little post in there, a vertical post, separate from the railing because the railing tool has no clue what we're doing here. No clue at all. And same with over here, it can't deal with that transition. I'm telling you, railings have issues in Revit. You have to add extra parts. But it worked. Are you kidding me? Can you guys see that this crazy stair is real in Revit? It, it, it works, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys can go custom. Draw your boundaries, draw your risers, and then put in your stair path, and it's a go. And yeah, you've got some issues to deal with sometimes if you're doing whack stuff. But if you're doing, if you're making normal stairs, even curves around things, you're gonna be fine. Try this sometime. Try to draw your own boundaries and your own stairs. If the rail, I mean, if the stair tool just doesn't give you what you want, you just give it what you want. I'm just kidding. You can draw this however you need to. And I'm going to get back to uh, myself here. <clears throat> you make the stairs that you want in Revit by going to the sketch and making a custom stair. All right. I hope that helps. There's many opportunities for you to go custom stairs. Don't let the tools in Revit tell you what to do. All right. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Happy Reviting. Bye-bye.